Hello everybody, I'm Kellen Fisher, and we have a special guest with us today. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Um, Doug Williams. Uh, tennis, golf, basketball, baseball. Control. Tiddly you... Winks. Yeah. Jeffers, Jess. <laughs> no. All right, well, let's start off with Florida versus West, West Virginia. Who should we be going on that game? It's on ESPN. I'm going to have to go with Florida. Uh, I'm going to go with Florida. West Virginia. Okay. I've been seeing Florida play this year. They're a pretty good team, but I don't think they're a good enough team to beat a top 15 team. Yeah, you, you might be right, but I'm thinking they're going to have a good game today. I just had that hunch, but no, just a hunch today. But I'm, a, I'm extremely happy, pleased to be on the Cullen Sports Network today. I just want to tell you that. Thanks. Being your grandpa. Um, Alabama, Oklahoma. I'm going to go with... Boy, he's going to be a good game. Very good game. I think I'm going to go with Oklahoma. Um, Alabama. Okay. Alabama. Okay. Okay. It's going to be a tight one, I think. It's going to be a good one. Well, because here's the thing. Oklahoma is at home. That's why. I'm, that's the only reason I'm picking them. But here's the other thing. It depends. Because for you to have fans allowed in the stadium, you have to be in a low COVID area to have fans. If you're in a high area... You have no fans. If you're in a low, they'll let you have about maybe like a quarter to half of the fans allowed. Yeah. Depending on how much this this stadium can fit. <coughs> um, who are we gonna go with Texas A and M and Kansas State? Boy, um, I guess I'll go with Texas A and M. Texas A and M. Texas Tech versus LSU. Ooh, Texas Tech and LSU. I'm going to go with LSU, I think. Okay. Um, LSU, probably. Okay. Um, TCU, Missouri. TCU and who? Missouri. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know. Who are you going with? Missouri. I'm going to go with Missouri, too, I think. Because Missouri needs this win because they're probably one of the best teams in the SEC. The because SEC. the SEC is a way better football team or football conference than they are in basketball. This is true. So, and for, for them to have a team that's ranked 12th in the country, that's pretty good for them. Because cause it's them and Alabama and both need this win. So, I, I'm hoping both of them can pull off the win and, I, and I'm also picking both of them. Yeah, Missouri. Um, the Tigers. I don't even know why the, I don't even know why I even have we I even have this one for us to say, but Auburn Baylor. Oh geez, Baylor. Baylor. The Baylor Bears. Gotta go with the Baylor Bears. Um, definitely. Arkansas and Oklahoma. Wait, oh, I mean no. no, I'm sorry. That game uh will not be played. Oh. No, I mean Oklahoma State, yes, it's Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Uh I'm going to go with Oklahoma State. I'm going to go with Kansas. I mean, Arkansas. But I already call them Arkansas. So yeah. It's for, they're making it clear this because when you look at them, it's, it's, it seems like Arkansas. Yeah. All right. Are we going to go with Kansas or Tennessee? This is probably the, the Big 12 and SEC champ with the, the Big 12 and the SEC um challenge going on this is probably the best game out of all of them who are, we go who are you gonna go with on this one this is a great game great matchup it's in knoxville so that's the only reason i'm gonna go with the tennessee volunteers tennessee and if you've wa and if you've watched my other videos you can see i've got the wisconsin and maryland game i got that one wrong and the georgia and south carolina game yeah both are also wrong you, they, you've seen those right i have they're okay. great they're great they're great it's not the picks are great oh yeah um Providence at Georgetown. Who, who are we going to go with? Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I got to go with Providence. They're a good basketball team. Georgetown's fallen on hard times. Uh, gosh, they used to be good, but they've fallen on hard times, and I'm just going to have to go with the, uh, the Providence team. If they can shoot their threes, I think they're going to win without any pro trouble.
Providence, definitely. All right, Xavier and Butler. Xavier has a better record, but Butler is coming off a two-game winning streak, and one of them was the top 10 team in the country at that time, which is now dropping 17, is Creighton. That's true. You're right, and it's tough to pick against Butler. I know Butler's, over the years, been a good basketball program, but I'm going to go with Xavier. Xavier, probably. All right, and we will come back to the Big Ten later. Okay. On all right, and we'll, and let's go with um, Duke Clemson. Oh, Clemson's having a good season. Yes, uh, they're not they're traditionally a good basketball school, but they're having a good season. And Duke is is struggling, but it's in Durham. Yeah. I'm going with Duke. Well, this is the first Upset. time since 1962 mm -hmm. where um, UMC. Yeah. Duke and Kentucky have yeah. all not been ranked since 1962. Usually right? one of them should have been ranked, that's, but this is the first time since all of them have just been awful. That's a good point. That's a real good point. Because the best schools in basketball over the years have been Duke, North Carolina, and of course Kentucky and UCLA out west. Well, UCLA, <laughs> why don't we actually go to that UCLA at home versus Oregon State? Okay. So who are we going to go with in this one? I got to go with UCLA. That great program when they had Walt Hazard, they had Gail Goodrich, they had Sidney Lowe, they had Bill Walton, they had Lou Alcindor. They've had some great teams and a great coach by the name of Wooden, John Wooden. And so I just think they're playing good basketball again, finally, and I'm going to go with the UCLA Bruins. Well, they are coming off a loss. I know. You know, against Stanford. But I think they're due to win a, another big game here. Well, for this, I'll talk about that game because UCLA is my favorite team in <laughs> the Pac 12. Oh, okay. Um, Notre Dame versus Pitt. Oh, Notre Dame used to be a good good program when they had Adrian Dantley and gosh, they had Austin Carr. But they've fallen on hard times, so I'm going to go with Pitt, those Pitt Panthers. Pitt. Um, Wisconsin versus Penn State. Oh, i got to go with the Badgers of Wisconsin. If, if Reavers and Potter can get the ball down low and do something with it, I think they're going to take them. Trice. Well, yeah. Trice is probably the, is the, it has the best chance out of all of them to make, and to make some, to make something happen with the team. That's a good point. And go to the NBA. That's a good point. And our final game we will be picking is Virginia versus, Vir Vir or at Virginia Tech. Wow. Versus at what it was say. Oh, well, I gotta go, I gotta go with the Cavaliers, with Virginia. I'm gonna go with, I don't, well, It's a good game, though. It's gonna be a good game. Virginia. Well, don't, as I said, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's hope we both can get some right, because I, I'm, I'm due to get something right. Well, it's a pleasure being on with my great-grandson, Kellen, on Kellen Sports. All right, well, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.